The Robbery, A Vivid Glimpse into the Turbulent Past Esaias van der Velde's masterpiece, The Robbery, painted in 1616, is a captivating artwork that encapsulates the tumultuous era of its creation. The painting vividly portrays two riders being ambushed by four assailants outside a dilapidated farmhouse, a scene not uncommon during the Twelve Years' Truce. Van der Velde's adeptness in capturing motion and emotion is evident. The frantic energy of the horseman fending off attackers contrasts starkly with the lifeless body of his companion on the ground. The fleeing horse, captured mid-gallop, adds to the scene's chaos. The painting is rich in details and symbolism. The farmhouse, with its crumbling walls and broken windows, suggests the effects of war and neglect. The dark clouds looming overhead contrast with the lighter sky at the horizon, implying impending doom or recent conflict. The trees surrounding the farmhouse are lush green but appear swayed by the wind, adding to the sense of turmoil. This artwork was created during a period of relative calm, 1609-21, yet it echoes the terror wrought by freebooters who had plagued the Netherlands for decades. Freebooters were soldiers who had deserted or been dismissed from service, and adventurers who roamed the countryside, attacking people and looting. They were a constant threat to the security and stability of the region. Van der Velde painted the robbery during the Twelve Years' Truce, which was a temporary cessation of hostilities between the Dutch Republic and Spain. The truce was meant to allow for negotiations and diplomacy, but it also resulted in economic and social problems, such as unemployment, inflation, and corruption. The ruined state of the farmhouse in the foreground can be seen as a reference to the war with Spain, which had devastated the country for decades. Known for his detailed and dynamic figures, Van der Velde was highly sought after for his skill in imbuing life into painted characters. He was one of the earliest practitioners of this genre in the Northern Netherlands, drawing inspiration from contemporaries like Sebastian Franks and David Vinkboons, who also depicted scenes of robbery and plundering. His evolution as an artist is marked by an increasing focus on violent themes. The robbery stands as one of his earliest and most striking examples from his Harlem period. He painted many scenes of robbery and plundering like this one, most of them in the 1620s. He used a similar composition with buildings on the left for his village being looted at night in Copenhagen, which is dated 1620. Van der Velde drew inspiration from various sources, both local and foreign. He was influenced by the work of the Antwerp painter Sebastian Vranks, in which the landscape plays an important part, as it does with Van der Velde. He also admired the work of David Vinkboons, who worked in Amsterdam and specialized in genre scenes with peasants and soldiers. Van der Velde also looked beyond the borders of the Netherlands, and incorporated elements from Italian and German art. He was familiar with the works of Peter Bruegel the Elder, who depicted scenes of peasant life and festivities with humor and realism. He also studied the works of Adam Elsheimer, who painted small-scale landscapes with dramatic lighting and atmospheric effects. The robbery is not just an artwork, it is a historical narrative canvas that captures a moment frozen in time amidst chaos. It showcases van der Velde's artistic genius while echoing the tumultuous history of early 17th century Netherlands. It invites the viewer to witness the drama and horror of the scene, and to reflect on the human condition in times of war and peace.